What's up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of cool cars that I just bought today for a really good price. Uh, we got Acceleracers and World Race cars. Not everything is in the best condition, but the price that I got all this stuff at is absolutely awesome and I'm super stoked to share this with you guys and it's super cool stuff, so let's get into it. Alright, to start things off we have the Silencers cars, which um, some of them aren't in the best condition. Like this iridium here has some uh, some scrapes on the roof and glass and stuff. Um, but this is probably the best condition compared to the other two cars. Um, the wheels kind of rub a little bit here in the back, but it's not a big deal. Um, nitrium got uh, a little pretty banged up in the paint. Honestly, this looks like nitrium that falls at the beginning of accelerators. <laughs> um, so yeah, this one's a little banged up and stuff, but it's not the worst. I mean, it could be in a lot worse condition. Then um, the carbide here is just got a really bad rear axle, which this is replaceable, so it's not like the end of the world. Um, but it does suck because you do lose that red dot. So uh, you'll have to do a new red dot if you do a redo with the axle but yeah it's kind of it's cambered bro stance um, but uh, yeah I don't know I I'm happy because I have never owned a carbide at least a silencers one so I'm really happy about that I do have a McDonald's Iridium but now I have a real one so pretty stoked I guess I'll just kind of do this to make things easier so next up we have the tech okay um, everyone's favorite racing team. Um, sorry, I'm not really in shot. So, uh, as you can tell right off the bat, the battle spec is missing a spoiler. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world. I think it looks kind of neat <laughs> without the spoiler on it. But, uh, yeah, I think this one doesn't look too bad. It's just missing the spoiler. Um, the front wheels are a little rusty. Uh, at least that oh and this back wheels rusty so um, not the worst thing ever but yeah there we go okay and then we have high voltage um, I don't really care for this car that much it's pretty popular in the fan base like a lot of people like high voltage but um, this one's okay paints a wee little bit tarnished not too bad but it could be better, it's a little banged up, but it's okay. It's pretty solid. Wheels look great on this one, honestly. Um, and then very noticeable paint uh, decals coming off on this baseline, which my baseline that I've had for years is in very, very good condition compared to this one, but um, I have two baselines now, so pretty sweet. I'm sorry if I'm like mouth breathing. I have to like kind of bend over in front of the camera to show you the cars. So, um, so next up we got Spoin Busters, my car. All right. Um, honestly, this is probably the best Accelerators car in condition. Like this one's fucking perfect, man. Like it's really good. It is a CM6 version, not a CM5, so it is not movie accurate. I know people like movie accuracy. I do as well, but I also don't mind CM6, CM6 wheels on Metal Maniacs. Personally, I think CM6s look pretty cool on Spinebuster, but um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's uh, I think it's not too bad. Um, moving on. Uh, so that's all of the Acceleracer cars. Now we have World Race vehicles or cars. So we have three Roadrunners. One is a Golden. Okay. Um, so. Pretty cool, sorry, I'm trying to get these in shot. Uh, I know you guys probably want to see the golden one the fir first, so we'll take it out of the package and look at it. This thing is wicked, man. Um, I've never seen one of these in person, and now I have one. But yeah, it's all shiny, it's not matte. It's like a metallic paint or a gloss. Well, it's got a really shiny clear coat, but it's a beautiful car. It's got golden wheels. This car has been very well taken care of. Uh, this car 
I asked the seller, I, kind of, I didn't beg for it, but I'm like, look, I would love to have this car, would you mind selling it to me? I'll give you a good price. And he gave it to me, so, um, very good. I paid, actually, I don't want to say how much I paid. I'll tell you guys a total of everything at the end. So, got that uh, Golden Roadrunner there. And moving on next is the other two Roadrunners. So, this is kind of cool because you have two completely different cars, so you can tell which one's in better condition. You can see comparisons of, you know, which one's better and which one's not sort of thing. But these are in pretty good condition. Um, this one's got a little bit of, or sorry, this one's got a little bit of bumps on the, the roof, but nothing crazy. So, pretty good condition. And then, um, my personal favorite, Scorchers, is this Corvette. I love this Corvette so much. It's got a big gash in the back, but no big deal. Otherwise, this car is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love this car so much. Um, my favorite Scorchers, next to uh, the Cordoba Coupe. But uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Um, and then, what's really neat is we have Muscle Tone, which I do own, but it's in a package, but now I got a loose one too, so pretty sweet. Um, this one's perfect, like nothing's wrong with it. Absolutely beautiful car. The seller was like, yeah, this is one of my favorite castings, man, and I didn't know if you were interested in it, and he pulls it out of his pocket, and it's this muscle tone. I'm like, dude, I'll take it. So, um, yeah, pretty sweet. Beautiful. Um, now, that's it for the Scorchers. Got a ballistic here in perfect condition, no problems. Surprised this thing's not in a plastic baggie. No problems at all, absolutely beautiful car. No scratches, nothing. Perfect, pristine, beautiful. I'm giving this one to my best friend who lives in Canada, and uh, I'm really, really happy to give it to him. I called him up and like, hey, I got a gift for you. And I'm like, I know, uh, I know you don't have this car. Well, I asked him if he had it and he said no. So I'm like, oh sweet, well now you're gonna have it, dude. So, <laughs> really sweet, um, can't wait to give this to my best friend. Now, I do have a golden variant of um, Ballistic. This is the golden one. I bought this a while back, but yeah, this is what the golden one looks like, so it's pretty cool. Um, here they are side by side. It's pretty neat. But I have not one. Okay, actually, let me level up the camera here. There we go. Not one. Okay, not one. Two. VHS video packs with golden slingshot and 24-7. So um, I now have a total of three 24-7s, which is pretty sweet. Uh, one's loose. Now I have two in package, which is fantastic. And then it comes in this VHS pack, which is really cool too. I have three of these movies now because I have another VHS pack with uh, Vulture and Muscle Tone in it. So I have a loose package muscle or a loose muscle tone and a packaged one. And then the other car that's in the muscle tone package is uh, Vulture, so pretty sweet. But yeah, check that out. Look at that. Super cool. Um, really awesome. So uh, yeah, um, I really love this golden slingshot a lot. I've been wanting this car so freaking badly, and this was the first car the guy mentioned when I was talking to him. He's like, yeah, I got this golden golden car and I'm like do you know what's on it and he's like no I'm like what color is it he's like purple I'm like oh my god <laughs> so super stoked about that um but yeah that's it for oh sorry I forgot uh I have another Pontiac Rages I have one of these already but the one that I do own has uh damage this one's perfect so pretty cool yeah the uh, it's a factory defect Pontiac Rages that I own, so pretty cool that I got that. Um, and then this is another Pontiac Rages. This is not a World Race one. This is a, a car that I think it's a I think a Track Aces, uh, but it has coal molds, which is pretty cool. So man, are there mosquitoes in there? Jeez. Um, so yeah, I got those, uh, and then for the last cars, which are recolored accelerators, sadly these cars are 
drilled and wheels have been stolen but this is an RDO4 and a carbide which I have this one in the actual package so it's no big deal but I wanted to buy these anyway because I collect them because they deserve to have a home and I could always have somebody remake these cars for me with new parts and things like that so um, but I do have two cars that are not touched and that is a Cove Light and an RDO one from the um, three pack track something I forgot I have two of them but um, I don't own these two so it's pretty cool um, now I do um, and then these are not accelerations related at all but they have CM6s and uh, they're not bad cars I think they're okay if you will if like if you drill these no one's gonna really care except for maybe like people who probably like these but these are the design challenge Honda cars that came with CM6 wheels I have a few of these in package so now I got these ones loose they're perfect but um yeah guys that's today's uh, video so those are all the cars that I got uh, I guess I'll do like a big shot of all the cars and stuff here all the cars and um, yeah pretty sweet and cool stuff and, uh, yeah so thanks for watching the video guys I will see you next time like and subscribe share with all your friends and uh, I will see you later. Uh, <laughs> so I, I forgot to tell you how much everything was. So all of this stuff right here was a hundred dollars. And these two cars right here together were sixty dollars. I paid twenty for this and forty for this. Um, so look, guys, listen. If you're if you're struggling to find world race and accelerator cars, and if you're you know upset that like eBay prices are, are through the roof stop buying on eBay do not worry about eBay go outside and you know look for toy events look for antique stores you know go around and, and look through the area like it look it takes a long time to acquire stuff like this but I'm telling you the, the weight is worth it and when you find somebody Sometimes you might find a guy who doesn't even know what this stuff is and he just collects it so that way he can drill them for parts, which is Who I got these from I got this from a guy who literally drills these cars for the wheels He's like I love the CM6s You know I like to drill the cars for the wheels, you know if you find somebody like that They'll probably give you a good price for these and I scored pretty well and you know, I'm very thankful um, you know, I I work really hard and I try to get my hands on this stuff and like even if the cars aren't in good condition like like obviously this baseline's like banged up and stuff but to me I don't care I will buy it if it's a good price like and that's the thing too guys do not pay overpriced prices for crap man don't pay overpriced prices for crap like don't spend sixty dollars for a baseline that looks like this okay and the only reason I bought this whole set is because there was a lot of variety in here. It's not just like one car. It's not just like two cars or something like that. You know, there's a whole variety here. You just got to get out there and search and look for people who sell this stuff. I swear to God, they, they're out there and they exist. Get the fuck off the internet. Get off of eBay. Get off of Amazon. Go outside and talk to people and meet people. That's how you're going to get this stuff, you know. Um, I know I, I see it all the time people are like man I wish I had at least one world race car it's like you know they're sixty dollars and a hundred dollars on eBay it's like don't waste your money on that stuff you know I've made the mistake of doing it I've spent uh, big money on on cars that later on I got for a lower price just because I went out and found some people but look I promise you guys there are people out there selling this stuff you just gotta look for them it's hard I know but when you find somebody and it, you know, you've waited and they give you a good price, it's the most satisfying thing in the world. And it makes the wait worth it. So definitely go check the, you know, go check your local stores and, and you know, antique places and even Goodwill, man. Like, just search. Get out there and search, guys. I, I swear, it's, it's, 
I know it's it's tough, but I swear there's stuff out there. You just gotta look. So, anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. I know I said thank you earlier, but I just want to thank you guys again. Um, but um, yeah, uh, thanks for all you guys who support my channel and everything. Uh, and uh, you know, I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.